Hey guys out there in YouTube land, I'm Al Beatty, and today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks originally published in Fly Tire Magazine. I think this is number 12, and we're going to talk about leg knot tools and how to use them. They're pretty easy, pretty straightforward, as you'll soon see. I just temporarily stored that pheasant tail in the vise. I really am going to move it around a little bit and show you a couple things about it. But one of the things you do, at least I find pretty darn easy, is I'd like to keep the stem mounted in the vise eh, fairly close to where I'm going to be doing my work. Well, the stem doesn't fit real good unless you take a pair of needle nose pliers and use it to kind of pinch a nice spot to anchor in the jaws. And even at that, it doesn't always want to go in there so I'll pinch them down again there we go and close those jaws and good now let's see if you can we're going to be able to see pretty good I'm going to move the camera just slightly so that we can get it off to the side here a bit and this is the tool that we're going to use the leg knot tool I want you to notice it's got a gate see that gate it opens closes. Anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm going to temporarily store that right there between those fingers, just like just like this. And we're going to come back right here and we're going to pull this around in a loop. And imagine, if you will, with me, that this loop comes to the front of the stem that's mounted in the vise, okay? We're actually going to hold it off to the side here, but that's because the, the tips of the feather come to the front that means the gate's down, the hook is down, and we go to the back with that, bring it around, bring the tips into the hook, and slip them through. Now one of the things that's really important is to not pull on the tip and try to tighten your knot. What will happen is you'll have a knot there all right, but it'll be straight. What you want to do is hold on to the knot and kind of pull on the back part. And what that does is snug it up a bit. And then you pull down. And what you're doing is you're shaping the leg rather than pulling the knot in straight. Now what I'm going to do is um, take my scissors and remove this one and set it aside. Some people like to leave them on the stem of the feather and some don't. But anyway, that's the leg as we've got it. Now I'm going to wet my fingers with my tongue and just kind of pull that together and then the other one just kind of all pull them together there so that when I set them down to dry they'll it'll help them kind of shape that leg oh, the darn thing doesn't want to let go of my finger anyway let's do one more and uh, I'm going to use the hook to capture oh six or eight fibers whatever whatever we've got there is several fibers remember we pull the tips to the front and then the gate is open the hook goes through to the back comes up around tips go into the into the crotch there and we pull them through and i lost a couple hole i wasn't watching what i was doing so we'll uh just go up to the next one and do it and pull this around. Pull those out of the way. The gate down. Around. Gate went shut on me. Close it. Open it. Pull the fibers through. And pull it from the stem. And that gives you your leg. Now, I'm going to come back in just a moment, and I'll have those mounted on the fly, show you how we can, you can make them really durable. All right, here I have just a simple bullet head mounted on the hook. No body or anything. All we're doing here is showing you a little trick to anchor those legs a little, a little more firm, if you will. And anyway, notice that I've tied the off one on... Uh, uh, on backwards and the near side one on backwards. I've already trimmed the waist ends 
on the offside one and I'm getting ready to trim the waist ends here and I'm using a bodkin just to kind of push those waist ends up out of the way take my scissors trim off the waist part there that we want to get rid of the leg don't have to be real real careful about it because it's going to be hidden by the rest of the leg and then we're going to turn around the offside leg and anchor it in place and then the near side leg and anchor that in place as well and when you've got a set of legs now on there that are going to stay there for the duration they're not going to be coming apart on you like they will often do sometimes now doesn't that make a good looking set of legs now you can bury them under the bullet head if that's what you wish to do or this is a way to mount them on the outside of the bullet head and have them be, well, not bulletproof, but uh, at least they'll hold together a little bit better.